Cross the bridge? What fucking bridge? You mean outside the room? Well, whatever. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. And Just your ambassador's up to us. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Wow, you're mean. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Yeah, well, if you talk that fucking slow, it definitely would. Well, fuck you. Uh, yeah, I should go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yeah, see you later. I don't want to yes, fucking talk yes. to you, asshole. Day, I'm done Earth with y'all! Fucking Elcor and whatever the fuck this midget is. Alright, what is it? These are... I guess these are keepers. I think that's what they're called. Um... Yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking weird as shit. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. And this do no, that one does not open, so I gotta go this way. Yeah, yes, Caden is a big place. I hate how X does everything in this game. It does everything in all of the games. You wanna order a taco? You press the fucking X button. Oh, that reminds me. That guy mentioned something about the thing. Oh, yeah, and I like check this out. In this game, the missions and assignments. Uh, missions being the important things, and assignments are like just side missions. Um, though they they are um, it's awesome that they're separated. In the third game, they're not. In the third game, it sucks. Uh, well, for that mission regard thingy, my Bob. <clears throat> I'm talking to this receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am. Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I, I fucking bet. Now. Have a pleasant day. Jeez, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how busy this one person I knew. A man in ox. <laughs> Alright, well... This is a little robot. Let's see, actually, where do I need to go? This is one of the problems with this game. I am stupid, so I have to, like, look at shit multiple times. You have to prove that you're blue, 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 blah, 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 blah. Go to the Citadel Tower in the Presidium for an audience with the Council. Okay, the Citadel Tower, that would be... Where the fuck would that be? Why is there a waypoint here? Get, get rid of that shit. I think the Citadel Tower... Oh, yeah, right here. So, I will set a waypoint there. See, that is good. See? See how easy that is? I mean, it's like a straight line. But, you know, not everything is in a straight line. Uh, and I actually will have to explore all of this, these areas. Because, like, in these areas, Citadel Rapid Transit thingies, um, you need to, like, discover the locations before um, you can actually, like, yeah, fast travel to them, if you will. And I'll click on one just to, oh, by accessing, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Travel. Yep, and that, yeah, look at that. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, Citadel, oh, wait, wow. Why is it already unlocked? Sure. I'll go there for free. Okay. Fucking my lazy ass American ass definitely does not want to walk all the way there. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll save the galaxy. I'll kill hundreds, maybe thousands of aliens. But I will not walk down the hallway! <sighs> I tell you, man, this game is asking a lot of me. I mean, walking, just just ridiculous. Just wait till we get to explore the galaxy, though. Get to drive places. Um, 
Which is, uh, you, there's a, wait, is this the way? N wait. Yes, that is the way. I was wondering if that was just like a door to get back. Wait. This isn't a, wait a minute. Oh, that's, a, okay. No, I, yeah, I, I go this way. I was wondering if it would like bring me, like, I, I figured it would bring me to like the front door. Oh, front Give door. And then I have to go Stall in. Them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Yeah, I don't need luck. I, I'm like a smooth, a super smooth talker. You know, my speech skill is like, you know, way up there. So, yeah, I don't need luck. I'm just, I'm just too good. I'm just too good at everything I do, you know? I'm just way too good. Who the f- oh, never mind. I thought that was telling me to talk to that guy, but okay. Hey, don't you guys got any quests? The Volus won't be joining well, the council I don't have to worry about, like, listening to them, but in the third game, you can actually, like, get quests started just by walking next to people who are, like, talking amongst themselves and other random bullshit. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Hey, don't jump, don't, see, that's the fucking issue with these goddamn aliens. They always just throw us into one big category. That's all these, uh, all these fucking aliens do, and I'm sick of it. Why do all of them have to categorize me like that? It's just bullshit how they always do that. Huh. <sighs> Gee. See? He hates us. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. That that's not what I thought you would Your say, you dumbass. What the needs fuck? To learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. <gasps> There's no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. That would be a great this Spectre. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by oh, the beacon. Okay, I wouldn't... Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander? Okay, it wasn't... It, it wasn't a wild... What the fuck, Anderson? Why would you even bring that up? I mean, the vision was because of the Prothean Beacon, which I would assume that everyone would know, but... That doesn't... How, did, how is that? How how the fuck can you use that to incriminate someone? It had nothing to do with him with the vi seeing the vision. That doesn't make any damn sense. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. 
Your face is blue, bitch. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. Bullshit! I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Yeah, that's pretty much what I would have done on my renegade character. <laughs> Although, I didn't really give a fuck when I got to the end. Uh, uh, yeah, I gave that option right in the Renegade. Uh, he's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. Loopholes! He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Yeah, well, maybe in, maybe in, like, maybe two years or so, maybe he will, you know, buy some of my bullets. But, um... Okay, well, that's enough uh, investigation. Really don't care about any of the other go. stuff. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Sure. Don't need anything, though. All right, two Paragon. Yes! I want all the Paragon. Let's see how much Paragon I have right now. Not a whole lot, but I do have three fucking points, though, so let's see. I will put two into pistols, so I have snipers unlocked. Now it will be... Uh, a lot more accurate and do more damage. Grants the assassination ability. What the fuck is that? Uh, only available... Oh, next shot will inflict 50% more weapon damage. Why would they make a skill just for 50%? For, for like, one shot? Why? Ah, uh, whatever. I don't design video games. Uh, okay, well, I will get my charm up because that will help me... 
um, down the road. Oh, wait, I forgot more. I got the skill points for the people. Uh, so I will upgrade, you know, Sentinel and his uh, biotic stuff. Uh, fuck, I forgot Ashley. Oh, no. Damn it, go. Uh, so I will upgrade her assault rifle and assault training, sure. Uh, and I will do one codex for you guys, unless there's more than one in the uh, given category. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. Science! Alright, well, let's get the hell out of here. Um, gee, what do I do next? Um, oh, and, okay. Uh, go see Barlavon, head to the bank in the financial district of the Presidium, and speak to, or speak with Barlavon. Yeah, Barlavon is a banker in the other game so I guess I will have to see you guys when I get there because obviously I am nowhere close um so TTFN that guy's up to something oh what hold guy? on then what oh no I wasn't never mind Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I'm going. Yeah, uh, I... <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Um, well, I actually wonder if I have the option to start it, but uh, I'll wait. I may as well start it, because, yeah, whatever. Oh, it's you again. Um, if there's something you want. Yep, I've decided to help you. I've decided to help you out. Just tell me what I need to do. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, yeah, I may, I may as well do that, just because uh, there is an alternate ending to that quest. Um, I'm just going to use this to see if I can... Nope, wait. Ah, I wonder if that goes to the if that's near the financial district at all. Just want to see if it's in here. And now, whatever. So, uh, yep. I I will see you guys uh, when I get to the financial district because uh, I'm gonna have to go look for. It. I'm gonna have to look go locate other areas too, just so I can fast travel to them in the future. So, uh, yep. I 